Welcome back. I was about to call it quits for the day, but then I kind of thought to myself, if you watched my first tutorials, you might be saying to yourself right now, I'm not sure if I learned anything, right? We didn't even once test our code in a browser or see that it does anything. There was a pretty good reason for that, and it is that all I'm doing is declaring variables. There is nothing to output. And so I have to introduce a couple functions to you if I want to actually generate some meaningful output. So in this video, I'm going to pick up right where I left off in the last one, and I'm going to do an echo, right? Because I'm going to want to print something out to the browser. And what I want to do is I'm going to call a function, and that function is get type. So uh, variable names are case sensitive in PHP. However, function calls are not. So whether I camel case that, put it in all uppercase, it looks pretty ugly like that, but I'm pretty lazy, so I usually just write things in all lowercase. So get type is a function, and it takes a single argument. And what it takes is a variable. So let's pass it boovar. All right, and so what this means, I'm saying display to my browser whatever the results of this function are. All right, so this function is going to return the data type of boovar. All right, so get type. Not the most practical thing, but at least I can prove to you that this is a uh, Boolean. So I save. I head on over to my web browser. I refresh, and it's Boolean. Well, it was already said Boolean because I did it a minute ago. I'm going to head back. And so this time, let's look at the type of... Uh, double var. All right, and I'm expecting this to return double. All right, so let's make sure that it does. And you can see that it does. This is really not very interesting, but you can at least see that they are getting evaluated, right? I put a decimal in there, even if it's a zero, right? I just padded it essentially. And let's do int, and let's see if that turns out differently. Quite predictably, it will and you can see that things are happening as they should. I'm not even going to do the string. You can just trust me that that is going to be a string. That's the most obvious one because it's wrapped in quotes. Um, just to make things a little weirder, let's do 13 in quotes. All right, what is that going to be? Not that clear, but if I run this thing, what did I do? No, I didn't. I don't know what I did do, but I certainly didn't change it been a long day right and so now it's a string and so it's 13 I'm sure you probably didn't mean to make it a string but it is so notice that I can use the get type function to test out my code now in reality you're not going to be using this a lot so while we're on the subject of just kind of screwing around with data types I did get type let me show you set type set types kind of an interesting one it's kind of a hard one to set up so I'm going to call this function called set type this takes two arguments, as you probably could guess. So what you need to do if you want to use set type is let's do something like I'm going to pass it string var. All right, and the other part is you have to tell it what you want to call it, right? Because it's not just going to take some crazy guess about what you want string var to become. It is a string. I'm going to say maybe I want that to be a double, right? I don't know if I would. Uh, so you might think that it goes like this. So first argument's the variable, second one's the type. There is a hitch here. It expects that second argument to be in the format of a string. So I need to wrap it into single quotes or double quotes. So let's just follow this down. I've got a variable declared here. It's a string because of the quotes. And if I set it to a double and then I get the type, hopefully I get double, right? So I'm going to Control S, save. Head on over to my web browser, F5, refresh. Ooh, syntax error, didn't mean to do that. Well, let's just pretend that I did. Line 10, let me guess. Oh, I didn't, yeah, so that's a classic mistake. So, right, I'm looking at line 10. Line 10 looks good. If that is the case, it's usually that you forgot a semicolon on the line before it, which is line 8. Apologies for you watching my mistakes. I'm going to leave that one in just so you know that it happens, right, and it returns a double. So pretty interesting, right? That's demonstrating, once again, the idea that those data types change throughout the program. So right here, it's a string, gets converted to a double, and then it's a double, right? What it was is completely irrelevant. Uh, it only matters what it is. So that's the function set type and the function get type. There's another school of functions, is type, uh, where you can test whether uh, a uh, variable has a certain type or not. And now these aren't things that you're going to use that frequently, right? But uh, if you want to make sure that your de declarations did go well, this is one way you can do it.
Thanks for watching.